So hello everybody, this is Julien Pastor and today we are going to talk about food fraud. Let's go! We don't want to go for a ride, do you? We could get out of the palace, see the world. Is it safe? For sure, dude. For sure. <laughs> So today I am with uh, Salman from Thermo Fisher and we are going to talk about their solution for food fraud. Hello Salman. Oh, hi Julian. Uh, so yeah, I'm from Thermo Fisher and I'm more than happy to present to you our uh, new instruments and new solution for the food fraud. It, so, it's a pretty new system because exactly. it has been launched a few exactly. months ago. Exactly, it has been launched on November 2018. Fantastic. Yes, exactly. And this is based on the NGS or next generation sequencing. Perfect. So this kind of solution uh, to who it is addressed? I mean, for food, I guess, for, but for, for what kind of purpose? Okay, so actually we have today three kinds of kits. Uh, one for meat to identify all meat species, okay. one for fish to identify all fish species, and one for plants to identify all vegetables uh, so species. It, so it will help every manufacturer, or food manufacturer, to be sure that they are buying exactly the products they, they bought. So exactly. If they want cow, they will have cow. If they want some kind of fish, they will be sure by, with this kind of solution. Exactly. So with this solution, you will identify all the species inside your sample, so you will know what is exactly inside. Perfect. So. Uh, it looks fantastic, but it looks very complex. It no, is simple, Salman. Not. Let me know. Absolutely not. It's okay. not. It is very simple. It is designed uh, to 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 be easy and to be very flexible workflow. So first of all, you need to take your uh, food sample. Okay. You need to perform a DNA extraction. Okay. You perform. It's manually this DNA extraction. Exactly. So it is manual DNA part, extraction. Like and exactly. And after doing your DNA extraction, you go to PCR. This is a normal PCR. Okay. And the PCR is done using what we call the barcodes. Okay. So here you have in the kit everything you need for your PCR, your master mix, your positive control, your negative control, okay. and all the barcodes. And it is used on one barcode per sample. Okay. This means that you can identify and differentiate your samples based on these barcodes. Okay. So when you perform this PCR with all these barcodes, you can then combine all of them in one single tube. Okay. This is what we call the library preparation. Okay. And once your library is ready, you can load it in this a perfect instrument. This is what we call the Iron Chef instrument. Okay. So it is um, the instrument designed to prepare everything from your library to the sequencer. And how many samples can you combine in a tube just to know the workflow? Yeah, actually, it depends um, on, on the number, or on the kind of ship sorry, you are using for this instrument. Okay. It could be 100 samples, could be wow. 150 or 200 samples, exactly. Right. So we start with the Iron Chef system to prepare the sample. Exactly. Everything is automated inside. Do you have to do something? <laughs> Nothing. You just yeah. need to load your reagents. Okay. The instrument will start to work and to prepare all um, your DNA in that chip that you can load in the sequencer. Uh, you can load your library here in the ice by the end of the day. Okay. Uh, the run will take around 11 hours, okay. so it will turn an overnight. Perfect. And just when you come the day after, your ship will be ready to be loaded in the sequencer. Okay, so when, when the chip is ready, you can put that in the sequencer. Again, it looks fantastic. What's happening inside the box? Okay, so it's easy actually when you transfer all your DNA here. So you will go to a single strand DNA and the sequencer will send what we call the flows. So we'll send different nucleotides in order to sequence your sample. And then all these data are transferred to the server, okay. which is already included in the instrument. Okay. And once you have all these results, you can load them into an automated software. The software will compare your results with a database already existing in the software okay. and will give you a list of the species you have inside your sample. Okay, so the data, the library is already inside the software. I don't have to have my own data about my own raw material. Exactly. The software will compare and tell me if it's a cow, if it's a, a other meat and things like that. Absolutely. Okay. So we have around 15 
10,000 genome already okay. downloaded in the software. Yes, it's a big, big database. And, uh, and yeah, you don't have to, to have a big background in molecular biology or in bioinformatics to analyze your data because everything is automated. You just need to, in two, three clicks, to transfer all your data to the software and the software will do everything for you. Okay, uh, I guess we, we have seen everything together. Salman, thank you very much for your time and uh, all your, for you, this information. Okay, thanks. I hope this uh, video has been useful for you. If you have questions for Salman or for myself, please uh, put that in, in comment. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye, thanks.